As a professor and chair of Washington University's Department of Biomedical Engineering, Frank Yin's legacy to the university is building one of the top biomedical engineering departments in the United States. He is the recipient of the school's most prestigious award, the Engineering Dean's Award. Frank really has, uh, what I say, a good nose for research. I mean, he knows when he's talking to someone whether they got it or they don't got it. And you know, he's very focused on the research and on the teaching. Having an MD and also having colleagues in medical school established him quickly, and I think that combination really helped in those interactions as well across campus in establishing the department. During his tenure, Yin handpicked 18 of the now 20 world-class faculty members who make up the department, which has become one of the fastest growing and most successful departments at the university. Today, the Department of Biomedical Engineering's state-of-the-art teaching and research facilities are located in Uncas A. Whitaker Hall for Biomedical Engineering and Stephen F. and Camilla T. Brower Hall. Before the building existed, the only th place that we could call bioengineering was the fifth floor of La Pata. Our labs were scattered across the university. Larry Tabor had a lab in mechanical engineering. Shelly Sakayama had a lab at the medical school, as did I. So we never saw each other doing research. We were dispersed. And then, you know, when we got the big Whitaker Award in 99 to name the building, that made a huge difference. Uh, I had a great time helping the architects lay out the building, and they did a wonderful job. Today, the department boasts more than 1,000 alumni. Under Yin's leadership, the department has consistently been ranked among the top 15 biomedical engineering departments in the country. In 2010, it ranked number one in both per capita faculty research finding and publication citations. I think the one person who's had the biggest impact and the longest impact, and it continues, is Steve Brower. He was the chair of the Engineering National Council during Project 21 when the idea for the department was conceived. And then, of course, his support you know, with my professorship and establishing the funds for Brower Hall to allow our department to expand. And to this day, he's still on the National Council and one of the big flag wavers, if you will, of supporting biomedical engineering. Yin established several international experience opportunities for students, including a service learning project at Hong Kong Polytechnic University. HKPU has one of the few rehab programs in Hong Kong, and they partner with various clinics in, in mainland China, take their expertise to the clinics to help it's primarily children with cerebral palsy. And so our students learn about some elements of that in their quantitative physiology course. And this is an opportunity for them to, then to see what they've learned in the classroom. For many children, this is the first time that they're able to walk or to run. And for many students to see a kid jump up and down and smile as he's running across the room for the first time in his life is just something that uh, can be life-changing. To have a motivating experience like that is just very re rewarding.